What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of CP Customs Budget Builds In today's episode we're gonna take care of the front, uh, of the front end of the forks and gonna try to make it a little bit deeper in the front section so make sure you're not gonna miss this, stay tuned! So ladies and gentlemen, the game plan for today is to take out the single forks and to check out how to disassemble everything. I never did that before, so it's gonna be interesting. And I'm gonna check out what is inside. I have slightly a plan what to do, not 100% sure if it will work, but uh, yeah, let's give it a try, let's check it out. Come on, let's go. So, first step done, as you can see here, these are the uh, parts uh, which are inside the fork. I already apologize for maybe the technical words for that, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna try to uh, make me yeah, understandable. And uh, yeah, the game plan, or it, it wasn't too difficult to uh, disassemble the thing. I was prepared for more pain, uh, but we are not uh, at the end, so um, yeah, let's be gentle. To make the front for 
work the front end deeper there are a couple of ways how to do this there are cheap ways cheap and good reliable things you can do there are also uh, expensive good and re reliable things you can do and also super expensive stuff in our case because it is a budget thing I try to go a cheap reliable good way and therefore I have to get the front deeper with some method to avoid the fork from coming back into release position to 100% so the plan is to make this fork so that it will only release to I don't know maybe 80-85% to get a bit deeper in the front so I'm not gonna cut anything on the fork I'm just gonna put something inside which will avoid to release the bring back to full position <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if this will work on this type of fork. I saw a couple of videos of uh, how they or how some guys uh, do this on other fork types. It uh, kind of worked, a bit of pain, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. So therefore, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna explain everything technical because it, it is it is complicated with, without animations and stuff. Uh, it's uh, hard to imagine what is happening inside the fork. But this is the rebound spring. The rebound Rebound spring is responsible for how the uh, main spring is allowed to come back or this whole component here actually. In that case I'm gonna put a distance pipe under the rebound spring to avoid that the other spring can go 100% back in there original position and the result is we will get a bit deeper in the front that's what i hope so i have to put something inside here usually we have also this uh, part installed as you saw on the disassembling uh, procedure this came out uh, as one of the very first parts in the fork so because the uh, measurements are quite perfect i bought another of this and I'm gonna cut this into half about five centimeters. I'm gonna go check out the five centimeters. I don't know if it will work. Uh, if, if it's too crazy, I'm gonna, I, I will cut even more. And I'm gonna put this under the rebound spring. I mount everything back together and or try to mount everything back together and compare the uh, deep fork to the another original still in stock fork and then we can uh, exactly measure how deep we can get. So that's the game plan, let's go.
All right, gentlemen and ladies, time for the truth. Let's compare old one to new one. So the uh, mounting procedure wasn't too difficult. Uh, I just made a bit of hydraulic help, but uh, um, not a big deal. So uh, yeah, let's check this out. So this is the new one. So the uh, should yeah deeper one definitely. But now we're gonna check how deep. This is the uh, other one, the stock one, and I hope you can see it. Let's check this out and. Damn, look at this! What a difference! Ah. Oh, baby! Ah, I feel good. I knew that I would. ah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Uh, so let's check this out and make this precise. This is 3.6 millimeters. Uh, centimeters. 3.6 centimeters. I have no clue what's that an inch, but I'm gonna put it in the video. So, 3.6 centimeters, which is perfect because our rear shock is gonna be 3 centimeters uh, deeper or shorter than uh, the stock one. So, we will get 3.6 centimeters deeper in the front and 3.0 centimeters in the back, which is compared to front and back, good. Perfect. Perfect. I that went absolutely smooth, and uh, I am so happy. So uh, I've been looking for freedom. I've been looking so long. I've been looking for freedom. Still the search goes on. So enough dancing. We continue, we are not done here. So uh, the game plan for the forks is to disassemble everything back in every single part. Because this is not finished, I just uh, uh, mounted everything uh, temporarily to check if it will work or not. Um, so disassemble everything and I'm gonna send the bottom part of the fork to powder coating glossy black as the wheels. So. Uh, this is gonna match also the fork uh, holders, glossy black. Ah, uh, this fork, this front end with this new tire is going to look amazing. So, I'm pretty excited, my mood is... my mood. I'm pretty excited, my mood is... Damn good! Sunny weather outside, you can see it, but I can. And uh, yeah, let's continue... with work. Monkey.
guys, it is a new day and uh, guess what, the parts are back from powder coating, so the front uh, fork uh, pipes, I don't know how to call it, uh, they're black and they look beautiful and uh, I'm gonna show you, I don't know, where's the box, I'm gonna show you. So, here's the box, let's take a look inside and, whoo, mamma mia, take a look at this. Compared to the old uh, dirty silver ones, this is uh, beautiful! Can't wait to reassemble everything, so both powder coated and glossy black to match kind rims and the stuff. And I also decided uh, the uh, four, four holders, front end holders, I don't know how to call this, but they are glossy black too! Check this out! <laughs> Amazing! Can't wait to put everything back together. So, uh, yeah, that's the next step. Let's go!
bit of a pain, but uh, we did it. So it is uh, a success so far. It looks really good. We are not done yet. I'm gonna fill up the uh, correct amount of oil inside and then we are done with uh, the front end with the forks and then we're gonna talk and uh, take a closer look at it but uh, first uh, let's put some oil in it Take a look at this ladies and gentlemen, front end forks, they're done, I can't believe it, this looks so good compared to the original setup with the old colors and with this new rims, new tires, this uh, glossy black center discs uh 3.6 centimeter deeper in the front this is this looks badass i am so happy with everything the uh mounting procedure uh the things uh, we changed inside um everything everything is worth uh, to do it uh, because uh, i am so happy that we were able to use the old uh setup and the old fork and the, the old front end and uh, didn't have to buy something new like a new front end kit uh, which costs you know a lot of money so uh budget builds and uh, this is amazing so i'm really really happy so ladies and gentlemen that's it for today thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please consider subscribing <clears throat> successful day so um, I'm still waiting for a couple of parts so I don't know what the next episode is gonna be about but uh, it's gonna be fun as always so uh, make sure you're not gonna miss this stay tuned and goodbye <laughs>